Before we get into this video, I just want to remind you guys to please hit that notification bell so that you get an update every time I upload a video. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, just take a moment right now to just hit that subscribe button. All right, cool. Hey you guys, what's up? It's me, Shania, and I'm back again with another video for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to style plaid without looking kind of chunky or like too big in one section and that kind of thing. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to style plaid shorts, but keep in mind that these tips can also be applied to plaid pants or even like a plaid shirt or plaid blazer. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with body shapes. Now this image represents the general five different body types that we as women tend to have. Now what I notice is that our society tends to give more favor and admiration to women with an hourglass body shape. So when you're wearing plaid or really any outfit that you decide to put together, you always want to be conscious of the overall shape that you're creating and you also want to be conscious of your body shape without clothes. Then you need to decide what you need to do in order to create the hourglass shape. Or if you don't want an hourglass shape, just think of how you can modify your outfits to achieve the general shape that you're looking for. But again, I feel like our society is more interested in an hourglass shape. Personally, I prefer the hourglass shape because it looks more symmetrical and in proportion. Okay, so let's get into the first styling tip. So here you can see I'm just wearing a black v-neck top and the general shape that we're creating is an hourglass and this is happening because I am naturally broad at the top of my shoulders and the plaid shorts are creating the illusion of wider hips. So broad shoulders, a narrow waist, and then broad hips creates an hourglass shape. So to create the illusion of a slimmer, um, figure overall you can pair some heels with this outfit and what it will do is it'll elongate your legs and make you look longer so even though your hips look wide because the plaid is you know it creates a bulky aesthetic you still look in proportion because your legs are elongated on to styling tip two so as you can see here the general shape is a ruler shape there's really no emphasis on the waist area not only do I look bigger on the top because the shirt is loose, I also look bigger on the top because of the color of the shirt. So if you have a smaller upper body, then you want to wear like a white top or something that's lighter than the color of your bottoms. So if you want to get back that hourglass shape, what you can do is take your shirt and just simply tuck it into the waist of your pants or your shorts and this will help to give more emphasis to your waist and the contrast between your shoulders and the width of your hips. Now tip three, if you want to pair your plaid shorts with a blazer, you can do that but you want to be careful about the length and the fit of the blazer because you might lose that hourglass shape. Because my blazer is loose fitted and it's cropped, it gives the appearance of a long rectangle shape. So one way we can fix this is by wearing a pair of heels and this will give the illusion of a leaner, longer, more slim body. Although we will still have that ruler look, but it'll look more slim. The other thing you can do is you can wear a longer sweater or jacket over the outfit and although we'll have that ruler effect, what will happen is we'll still have the silhouette of the hourglass shape because you'll be able to see the emphasis of the waist being taken in and we'll also narrow down the size or the width of the hips. So since our sweater is so long and the sleeves are somewhat gathered because the sweater is oversized, it further creates the illusion of the slimming down of the hips which kind of works against the plaid, which kind of makes the hips look wider. And just to reiterate, although we've added this oversized sweater, we haven't lost the appearance of the hourglass. If anything, we've given it more emphasis. So you can also opt to wear a white or bright colored top 
underneath your sweater if you are naturally smaller at the top um, but you also want to keep in mind that if you do wear like a white sweater or a lighter color sweater or top in general that you should definitely tuck it into the waist of your pants so that you can preserve that hourglass shape. So for tip four, if you don't want to wear a sweater, you can opt to wear a blazer with your plaid shorts and basically the same rules still apply with your blazer. So we haven't lost that hourglass shape because of the length of our blazer. Um, and also the length of the blazer still helps to cut down the appearance of wide hips that the plaid creates. And again, just remember that if you do want to wear a brighter shirt underneath your blazer, you want to tuck it into the waist of your pants. Otherwise, you're going to lose the emphasis of your narrow waist. So tuck it in and you will have your hourglass shape underneath your blazer. So here I've paired the plaid shorts with a white blazer, well actually an off-white blazer, and a black v-neck shirt underneath. And here we have the overall shape of a rectangle or a ruler. The waist is not accentuated because of the color of the blazer as well as the length of the blazer. If the blazer were longer, it would help to further emphasize the waist and the hourglass shape. What you could do is you could pair this with a white shirt underneath the blazer to go along with that light color palette, like that white off-white color palette, but this works better if you are naturally smaller on the top. So here I decided to just completely switch up the look. I paired my plaid pants with an oversized denim jacket and again to emphasize that hourglass shape I decided to accessorize the outfit with a belt that really hugs the waist and really emphasizes the contrast between the width of the shoulders and the width of the hips. Now even though this denim jacket does not fully cover the shorts, it still creates an hourglass shape because of how it flares out and creates a wide hip effect to match the wide shoulder effect. Now for the final tip, if you don't wanna wear a sweater a blazer or an oversized jacket what you can do is just simply wear a cropped sweater now because the sweater is cropped one we don't have to tuck it in to emphasize the waist because it naturally ends at a length that hits the waist and still emphasizes it in order to give us that hourglass shape if you are bigger on the top I suggest you wear maybe a dark sweater and if you are smaller on the top, then you can get away with wearing a lighter colored sweater. Now, if you wanna go for a sporty look, you can opt to wear sneakers instead of heels and it still keeps the hourglass shape. You haven't lost it completely. Now, let me know which one of these outfit combinations was your favorite. I'd have to say mine was this one. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, turn on your notifications. Until next time, ciao!